In regards to our announcement last night regarding the high altitude surveillance balloon, I'm not going to have much new information to provide other than to say that the North American Aerospace Defense Command continues to monitor it closely. While we won't get into specifics in regards to the exact location, I can tell you that the balloon continues to move eastward and is currently over the center of the continental United States. Is the, is the position of the balloon classified? Uh, Phil, right now uh, what we're not going to do is get into a hour-by-hour -hour location of the balloon. Again, we're monitoring it closely. Uh, I, as I mentioned right now, it's over the center of the continental United States. That's about as specific as I'm going to get. But I understand it might be inconvenient, but does the public not have a right to know? If uh, the, the public is over certainly their state? has the ability to look up in the sky and, and see where the balloon is. And in terms of specific locations, uh, I'm not going to be able to go into specific locations again, other than to say it's moving eastward at this time. Uh, again, we, we know that this is a Chinese balloon, but beyond that, I'm not going to have specifics. Uh, so I'm not going to go into uh, any specific intelligence that we, we may have. Again, uh, uh, again, right now we're monitoring the situation closely, uh, reviewing options, but beyond that, I'm not going to have any additional information. So uh, certainly aware of photos being posted online. Uh, I, I'm not going to get into the business of confirming uh, whether or not those are, you know, where those photos come from. And we'll just leave it at that. Thank you. And uh, I'm not going to get into intelligence, uh, and I'm not going to have any further information to provide. Okay. In terms of way ahead, we will continue to review options, but I'm not going to have anything further to provide on that. So thank you. Uh, right now, we're going to continue to monitor and review options. Yeah, so in terms of any, uh, you know, hypotheticals about messaging from PRC, I, I'd refer you to them on that front. Again, beyond that, I'm not going to be able to go into any more specifics. I'd have to refer you back to the uh, PRC on that. Opinion. And I'd refer you back to China in terms of, uh, of just... yeah, again, I mean, that that's a statement, not a question. So, again, I'm not going to have anything other to provide. So right now we assess that it will probably be over the United States for a few, few days, um, but we'll continue to monitor, review our options, and keep you updated as, as we can. Thank you. So at this stage, uh, what I can tell you is, again, um, we're reviewing options. I'm not, I'm not going to go into more specifics than that. So what I would tell you right now is um, that information is classified. Uh, I'm not able to provide it. Other, yeah, absolutely. And, and again, um, you know, we're just not going to get into an hour by hour where the balloon is. So we will do our best to keep you and the public informed in general terms on where the balloon is uh, and, and, you know, try to be helpful in that regard. Again, Jennifer, we're reviewing options, but I'm not going to get into hypotheticals or, or speculate on potential future actions. So I appreciate it. I haven't been very specific because that information is classified, and I'm just not going to be able to talk about it. Yeah, so, uh, so on your latter uh, question, I'm not, I'm not going to get into intelligence. Um, we, we do continue to monitor the balloon. We do know that it is a surveillance balloon. Um, in terms of the size, I'm, I'm not able to get into the specifics other than to say uh, that it is big enough um, on your second question, I'll have to take that because I, I just don't have that information in front of me. Uh, on the first question, uh, I appreciate it. Um, as I mentioned, we have contacted the PRC. I'm not going to get into uh, their reaction. I'd, I'd refer you uh, to them for that. But we, uh, again, monitoring, we're reviewing options, but I'm not going to go into any further specifics. Thank you. Yeah, so again, I'm not going to get into intelligence. Um, it, you know, as we mentioned in our statement last night, once the balloon was detected, uh, we acted immediately to protect against the collection of sensitive information, uh, and I'll just leave it at that. Thank you. And right now, we do not assess that, that the, the balloon in its current configuration at approximately 60,000 feet poses a physical or military threat to people on the ground. Yeah, thanks, Orrin. So uh, beyond saying that we are continuously tracking uh, the balloon, I'm not going to go into the specifics in terms of how uh, we track other than to say that we have multiple means at our disposal to do that. Uh, in terms of more specifics on the balloon, uh, again, I'm not going to get into intelligence, again, other than it is maneuverable, uh, and I'll just leave it at that. All right, thanks, Phil. So, again, uh, on your latter question, I'm not, I'm not going to get into intelligence. Uh, clearly, it's a balloon that has a payload underneath it. Uh, so it, it you know, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, it's got a large payload underneath the surveillance component underneath the actual balloon piece of it. I, I, I don't have that information. Yep. Look at a blimp. A blimp has a basket, right? So there's a basket underneath it. And we've, we've communicated at multiple levels, and I'll just leave it at that. It is a surveillance balloon. Yeah. 
Again, does not pose, we currently assess it does not pose a physical or military risk to people on the ground. Just, I'm Again, I can't go into more details. So, okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it.